Hey everybody, good morning, it's Pete. Welcome to a new episode of Stocks for Breakfast. Today we're gonna to talk about something that I think every new trader wants to talk about at some time. And actually all new traders wanna trade this kind of setup right away. Uh, and it's probably the worst thing you could possibly do. <laughs> we're talking about when a stock has news, comes out and has this massive spike and you see it on a scanner or you read about it last night in the news or maybe pre-market, you log in pre-market and you see that the stock is up a certain amount. We actually have an example of this today. Uh, and then the stock just starts flying. In order to trade that stock successfully, you need to understand how to be a tape reader. You need to understand how to understand when it's exciting and continuing to go and still a tradable opportunity. And then you need to understand, well, oh, the party's over, the sellers are coming in and they're gonna start pushing the stock down. Uh, and then you need to recognize when buyers step back in and push it back up again. This is a very uh, unique situation. Chasing news uh, and chasing a spike in volume like that, um, you know, you'll read all over the place that short covering and shorts are getting squeezed and all that kind of stuff. It really doesn't matter. If you see a news story and that news story spikes and you choose to get involved, especially if it's a stock that you've never traded before, but you just, it's popped up on your scanner, you're like X, Y, Z, D and got to get in, it's up. Uh, you're basically putting yourself in a position to get hammered. Uh, especially, I'm speaking to you, <laughs> the new trader, somebody who is logging in, running scanners, and the stock is just, I keep doing this because I really want to make it as an effect. Um, you're going to get hurt because you don't have enough experience to understand when the stock has topped out. You don't have enough experience to trade size in that stock. And I say size very specifically because the stock we're talking about right now or the stock we're going to use as an example, um, about two or three months ago, let's say in end of July into August, the stock was at $2 and change. And then in two days, so basically on the second day after it was $2, it was trading almost 60. It had that fast of a parabolic move from $2.38 all the way up to, let's actually give you the exact number, all the way up to 60, literally hit 60 right up, right on the button. So what ended up happening was I was getting blasted with people from social media, emails, brand new members in the community, uh, all excited to trade it. And I said, I've done this before. I've been there. I feel the pain that you're in right now uh, because it exploded and the buyer stopped and the stock just slowly drifted all the way back over the next week and a half, all the way down to $7. And there were people stuck in the high 50s while that stock was up there and slowly drifting all the way down. And here's the key point to everything I want to discuss right now. Number one is there's a difference between trading order flow and reading the tape. What we do is both. What we do in the boot camp and what I teach is first identify where the smart money is making commitments and the longer they're making those commitments and the more obvious they're making those commitments, meaning over time, is it one hour of buying, one day of buying, one week of buying, one month of buying, how much, how much smart money was committed to that idea? The more order flow that you can see, the more footprints that you can see that somebody committed a lot of money, then you could jump in and read the tape because you have, you have a perceived support there on the charts because the charts are literally telling you they're making higher highs, they're making higher lows, they're holding it, they're closing it near the highs, and they're doing it over and over and over again, which starts on the daily chart, works its way over to the weekly chart, works its way over to the monthly chart. Then you go to read the tape because you, you have a certain support there where you have feedback, you have proof from the market in the form of higher highs and higher lows, and you'll feel comfortable getting in there bidding. You have, you have somebody with a lot of money supporting the idea. If you chase a news story and you don't have order flow behind it, now you need to be an advanced tape reader where you understand that it's a unique uh, centered catalyst around that story. And when that thing spikes and you start to chase it higher and higher and higher, and especially in these cheaper stocks, like again, the stock we're talking about right now is $7.53 as we're talking about this, but now it's up, uh, it's up 62% this morning, 62%, which dollar amount is not a monster number. It went from $7.50 to $12.20, but 62%. And all of a sudden you start to see it come up in your pre-market scanner or you watch, you read it somewhere, and you're like, I got to get involved in the stock. And you see the stock start to spike. You get to work at 9.30, uh, whatever time you get to work. Uh, the market opens. And now the stock went from 7.50. And now it's 18, 19, 20, which I don't know if that's going to happen today. 
But my point is this, if you start to chase price and you are not disciplined, if you start to chase price and you don't understand how to read the tape, if you start to chase price and you don't have an exit for both a profit and a loss, there's a good chance you're going to get stuck. How do I know that? Because I made that mistake early in my career and it cost me a fortune. It cost me a fortune in dumb trades because I didn't know what I was doing yet. I was chasing price, which is not what you want to do. So what stock are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about Kodak. Kodak has exploded pre-market. There's news out that the reason it exploded and then ultimately came all the way back down uh, in late July, early August, they're saying that there was no wrongdoing. So the stock is in play again today. We're going to talk about it in today's best stock picks video. We're going to outline what to look at and what to do. However, if you are a new trader chasing price, and I keep using the word chasing price, chasing price means that you don't have a plan. Chasing price means that you don't understand what you're doing yet. I am imploring you because this is a cheaper stock where you can get a lot of share size. The right way to trade these kind of ideas is to leg your way into it. Jesse Livermore called it probes. Everybody who's been a member of the boot camp understands working the order and getting into those types of ideas. So we're gonna take a quick look at the chart, but consider this kind of like a mentoring lesson about what not to do so that you can keep your money safer for opportunities that you're in control. Now safe, is, please use the word safe in context, but if you're gonna size up in these penny stocks, if you're gonna size up in these stocks that are very cheap and all of a sudden hop into the news, do it the right way. And the right way, which has been proven over time, is to add shares as it moves in your favor. It's very tempting to trade these $3 stocks, $5 stocks, $7 stocks with massive size uh, because you can afford to, but that's not the right reason to have massive size. You have to have massive size on ideas that are uh, working in your favor, that have proven to have order flow, that have a very high probability of reaching your profit target versus your stop loss. So when we take a look at a trade or an idea like this in Kodak, uh, you can clearly see, here's the spike I was talking about. Then news came out. Uh, we'll just show you the news here really quick. Uh, federal agency now finds no wrongdoing, which is the reason, you know, there was a loan, then there was possible wrongdoing and the stock came all the way down and now we've been langer, uh, uh, lingering all the way down at this level. And you can see now that the stock is up uh, 60, 60, almost 61% right now. So the point that I want to get across here is it's going to be in play. You're going to read it all over the place today, but it's not really about just trading Kodak today. It's about deciding what kind of trader you want to be. Do you want to be somebody who's running scanners, chasing price and getting involved in stocks that you have no idea how they actually trade, if they're easy to trade or how much legs the story has, or do you want to trade order flow where you are letting the market itself prove to you that smart money, that the market, that institutional buyers are supporting that stock by showing what we call well bid, by showing multiple timeframes that the stock is well bid, by creating higher highs, higher lows, and then timing those entries between entry and exit to understand how to trade. The second one is infinitely easier when you learn how to read order flow and then learn how to read the tape within the order flow. If you're chasing stocks like this, um, all I'm asking you to do is be aware that it's different from trading a trend, from trading a trend in order flow uh, and really work that order. Be smart with your money if you're going to put it in harm's way. Have a great day.